with the powerful combination of Animate Div LCM LoRa and the LCM Sampler Notes, I will demonstrate how to transform a video game scene into an animated wonderland by using a video to video technique. I will use the control net extensions to trace and influence the original video using Animate Div. Through my process, I experienced a few challenges before achieving the final results and I will reveal how to avoid them by using the right node connections. A couple of you requested a video to video method following the previous two tutorial which is what encouraged this video. I have already included a step-by-step -step guide in my earlier upload that explains how to get the LCM LoRa models, use the sampler LCM alternative and also how to install the extensions. After that we will modify this into a video to video workflow. The idea is to use Animate Div to create a racing car. I'll copy and paste the prompt for this description and let's see what we get by hitting Q prompt to get started. Alright, so getting started, the speed and the quality is outstanding from Animate Div, but the outcome is not what I was hoping for. So I'll give this another shot by improving the prompt with a more specific description. And I'll hit Q prompt once again to see the results. Okay, so things are improving now. The trails and the smoke are nice, uh, but this is still problematic and we have no control over how the car is moving. So I have already outsourced the clip I want to use, which is the video game scene. I'll trim the clip to the correct length of duration. If the size is too large, be sure that the video remains in the frame. So I have achieved this by using keyframing to modify the point of view during the video. Once I'm satisfied, I will export this as my reference video to control the animation. So back inside Comfy UI, we have already created the Animate Div process along with the Animate LCM LoRa. So I'll remove my main group here and divide it into smaller sections. First, let's start with Animate Div. Right click, add a group and rename this to Animate Div plus LCM. Drag to create the group around the nodes. Also right click below, add a group and I'll rename this to text to video. I'm going to switch the color here to purple. All right, so I'm going to speed things up a bit and uh, arrange this to a more simpler way for you guys to understand and tidy things up just a little bit. So I'll scroll up here and let's get started with the control net extensions. I'll right click to add a node and add a group. I'll name this to control net one. Also, I'll change the color to green and drag this out to create the group selection. Next, I'll double click and search for the apply advanced control net. So instead of using the original apply control net node, this is what is going to make it possible to allow you to use the sampler custom LCN node. So make sure to have this installed inside your custom nodes as advanced control net. If you don't have this installed, go to the manager, install custom nodes, search for advanced, and install the Kosinka Ding Comfy UI advanced control net. Close the manager after installing and refresh the server. Uh, moving on, I'll double click to search for the line art processor. We are going to be using the realistic line art. Connect this into the input of the advanced control net. Drag out the control net here and load the control net model. In here, I'm going to go for the line art model similar to the processor. Drag out the processor image again to see a preview. And I'll use the VHS combine to know what the processor is doing. Change the color to brown. I'll change the frame rate to 12. Also, I'll use the H.264 and also input the file path. We also need a second control net group, which I'll rename here to control net and also change the color to green once again. So I'll duplicate the node apply advanced control net and for the processor, I'll search for depth and go for depth anything. I'll drag this down here and connect this into the input of the advanced control net. Drag out the control net here and go for the control net loader, which I'll choose the depth model to go along with the processor. Once again, duplicate the VHS node, which I'm going to connect with the processor to also have a preview. So I'll double click here to search for load video and go for upload. I'll select the video here I, I exported earlier. I'll zoom in a little bit and from here, I'm going to change the load cap to 100 for a quick preview. And next, I'll draw to connect this to the line art processor input and also I'll reroute this to the depth processor input image. I'll let Q prompt test this to see whether everything is working perfectly. 
All right, this is all working perfectly. The line art is tracing the original video to a simple drawing and the depth processor provides more freedom by excluding the subject from the background as we can see. So I'll quickly change the colors here as well for easy recognition. From here, the big question is how do we connect control nets to influence the entire animation? So I discovered earlier on using both control net my course issues. So choose the best control net that might work for you and go along with that. So all you need to do is to connect the positive prompt to the positive advanced control net and also connect the negative prompt to the negative advanced control net. I'll disconnect the model inputs from the sampler custom and reconnect it into the apply advanced control net node. From here, we connect everything back from the advanced control net node into the sampler custom node. I'm going to zoom out quickly and let's see if we have all of this connected properly by using control nets to influence the animation from the original video. Alright, so this is doing a great job. Uh, this is amazing, extremely accurate by Animate Diff and precise from ControlNet compared to the initial generation without using ControlNet. So let's customize this to our own taste. Usually I come onto Lexica to get my style and I have the inspiration to use the Blade Runner theme to see how this uh, works with the animation. So I'll click on search to see the results uh, from the platform. I'm just going to click on this image and I'll copy the prompt, open my notepad to paste it in here. And I have also saved a few more inspirations um, as you guys can see here. So don't just copy the exact same prompt from the platform. Go ahead to create something different which you want to see and also you want to use. Once I'm satisfied with this, I'll copy my master prompt back into Comfy UI to paste this into my prompt node. Um, I'll also put some weight on some of the words for more emphasis. And I'll take out the human features from the negative prompt as well. So zooming out, uh, let's see what we get by hitting Q prompt after putting in our style. All right, so um, this is done and I'm excited to see what we get. This is actually amazing from Animate Div. I especially enjoy the Blade Runner theme how this appears and the reflection on the streets is just incredible uh, whilst it's in the rain. We can also see here this only took just a matter of seconds using the LCM sampler and the quality is still impressive taking less time in just a matter of seconds. To push this even further, I'm using the LoRa here known as the Neon Outlines. Download and place the LoRa into the right directory Copy the trigger word here and include it in the prompt. Back onto the page again, I'm going to scroll down to copy the color theme recommendations and I'm going to include this as well inside the prompt. So in here, I'll duplicate the LoRa node. I'll go into select the neon outlines we just downloaded. I'll reconnect everything from the checkpoint into the LoRa to realign with the additional LoRa we have earlier. From here, let's go ahead to Q prompt and let's see the magic from the neon outlines. I'm going to skip this just to the results so we don't take too much time. All right, so there we go again with another amazing result from Animate Diff. Uh, there are no limitations once you have created the nodes the right way using Animate Diff and LCM sampler. So for the third style, which is the cartoon style, as you guys can see, I used the style here by the artist Herge. I just clicked on one and from here I just used the illustrated style. I just went into the prompt and I make sure I had the artist name in there and also I changed the low checkpoint model to use the Hello Young 25D. I have also included an upscale to this workflow which will be the final workflow I have provided in the description. So that's how to get the best results and the fastest render time with the video to video technique using the Animate LCM LoRa and the LCM LCM sampler notes. I'd like to thank everyone for their contributions and support in the comment section. If you want to understand more about Animate Diff and the sampler LCM notes, you can watch this video on the screen now and don't forget to smash the thumbs up as always. I hope to see all of you in another powerful video.